Welcome to our round six of the Revenger Shinobi. This time we're in Chinatown. As you can see from the word China there. Way to sell it, Sega. Welcome. Neozine has been diversifying. They're now into advertisement. Their signs are everywhere here in Chinatown. And we have a new enemy type. Uh, this guy has a twirling nunchuck staff thing. I was going to lie and say I tried to look it up, but I'll be completely frank with you, I didn't even. At any rate, Zed's telling us don't stop, or telling someone, maybe it's like their version of the Nike just do it thing, I don't know. These new Bruce Lee guys have pink pants, they take twice as many hits, that is to say two, as the previous ones, so watch out for them, kids. Um, here's another new enemy type, it's the ballet dancer, she's right above me. She takes eight hits, probably they'll... Probably the toughest enemy we've faced so far. And she has a big hitbox on her way down. But then she begs for her life at the end of it. And strangely, the game considers her still an enemy sprite, even though she can't hurt you. So if you're standing too near her when she's doing that, Shinobi will do the melee attack, which kind of sucks if there's another enemy nearby. But whatever, it's one of the little gotcha things. <laughs> what a jerk. The way you want to hit those staff guys, by the way... Actually, I'll get back to them in a minute. I want to point this out. So we had a pow out of the left box. The right box can get to one up, but don't go for it because if the box isn't there, you don't have enough height to make it through the rest of the stage. You have to use a ninja magic otherwise. It kind of stinks. Anyway, the, uh, the thing I was trying to say about the swirling staff guys, the way you're supposed to kill them is when they do their melee attack, they'll do it alternating high and low. And the idea is if they attack high, you can duck and shoot them, or if they attack low, you can stand up and shoot them. But honestly, I find it easier to just do melee. The ballet dancer lady takes away my pow power up. <sighs> so annoying. Trying to is a very annoying stage, if you want the truth. And this is about where Revenger Shinobi really stops fucking around, even though that laser ship in the last stage is bullshit, too. And it, it gets, frankly, annoying with its difficulty. It's just, uh, as you can see, this stage just sort of winds up and down to the right, and I stupidly walk into this guy twice. <laughs> You're gonna see a lot of comedy of errors type of play here. But, uh, yeah, so it's a very long stage, and there's enough where if you screw up a little that you die and you have to redo it again. But we'll, we'll get on the subway and we'll go on to the next part of the stage, which I fucking hate. Girder out of nowhere. Shinobi has a pretty tall vertical hitbox, and now we've got these big girders going all through the stage in the pattern of low, high, high. I know it seems kind of easy, but they are fast moving, and you really gotta know they're coming. And if you don't, well, too too bad, mon frere, because you're just done. Even worse, you have these bombs to contend with some of the crates, so you've really gotta pay attention, and what happens is you'll not pay attention. You'll see the high girder go by, and you'll be like, is that one or two that went by? Oh shit, I forgot. Now I have to like wait around for it. So, I guess this is a patient stage, and I'm not good at patience in my video games. These purple ninjas, of course, duck with you. They're idiots. Don't worry about it. They're pretty much the same as the pea green ninjas we saw before. Don't worry, the, there's ninjas with different colored costumes that act a little differently. <laughs> Are you, were you really worried about that? I mean, frankly. Anyway, as you can see by the cards, this is the club line, and I really do like the little detail Sega put in that people are constantly walking across a moving subway. It's nice, and if you've ever been on a subway, you'll notice that everyone really does this. Oh, I'm sorry, I meant fucking no one ever does that. Okay, regardless. So, at this point, we're done with the girder point, and the stage gets considerably easier. Uh... Sega throws in not Rambos just to, you know, try to make it somewhat difficult, but at this point, you've won, more or less. Once you've gotten here, the stupid girders bug everything. How many of the same friggin' kid is gonna walk across there, by the way? You notice, too, in the background, Zed is also doing train shipping. I don't think we've taken on any shipping trains, though, so... I don't know, I guess we're not happy unless we've done all modes of transportation. You can see the wonderful, complex AI on display here. I guess I guess this subway is still part of Chinatown? I'm, I'm not really sure. Whole stage is supposed to be Chinatown, but... 
So here's a fun fact. These first three boxes on the left, all bombs. The next one over, it's a power-up. And it's a big heart. I don't really know what spawns the little hearts versus the big ones. Just sometimes they're big and they refill all your health. Sometimes they're small and they only restore like a four bars of it. Who cares? We're at our next stop. And I've got a layer of uh, the letter from Sega's lawyer ready here. This is actually Spider-Man, no joke. Sega did have the rights to use Spider-Man in the next revision over. They had a copyright notice about it. Spider-Man is actually a little tougher than he appears. His little spread web attack is kind of tough to avoid, as you can see here. And then that drop down attack comes very fast and it's not in tune with that attack. Um, I have another letter from Sega's lawyer though. We didn't have the rights for this character who is most certainly not Batman. Batman does not fly, therefore not Batman. Um, in either way, we changed him to Devil Man from a manga in a, in, in a later revision of the game, which I don't find particularly better. <laughs> that was some really ballsy copyright infringement, I'm sorry. Both of the big fucking uh, comic book names. Good job, Sega.